hi guys um welcome back to my channel um it's been a minute guys it's actually been a minute um and i apologize for that because when i first started youtube i said that i was going to try and be as consistent as possible um and i think perhaps i underestimated how deep final year is and i just haven't had time i literally haven't had time uh and i also got a new job in september um which i recently quit um due to exams coming up but i got a new job i was working and plus i was kind of just living life i didn't really have time to schedule any recordings i didn't have any motivation to do anything to film anything and i don't want to put out quality um content that i'm not happy with so anyway if you're tuning in today then thank you so much for even coming back because like i said i have like it's been like two months three months since i uploaded i think i uploaded in january we're in april now um so yeah anyway to anybody new welcome to my channel i'm sean anyway today's video is going to be about this hairstyle and um i'm just going to talk about the hair itself and just give you guys a little bit of an update about the hair and um you know any problems i've had or you know just just the hair i'm just going to talk about it so anyway who is feeling this look though like you want to know how i got it and you want to hear a little bit about the hair then please continue watching and don't forget to like subscribe and comment <laughs> bye <laughs> so i've gone ahead and stuck down the wig just because there are so many videos that explain how to do it and what to do and what you use i use the got to be glued gel just like everyone else sometimes occasionally i'll use the spray as well so i'm gonna get into doing the tutorial for the hair in the picture or the thumbnail of this video so
Right, so I'm back. I've put some makeup on, I've put some earrings in, changed my clothes, done my hair, put on the outfit that I'm wearing in the thumbnail, just so you know you can get the feel of when I did it before. I even have the glasses. This is my new hairstyle, like honestly, I wear this hairstyle all the time. When I got wigs, this is the hairstyle that I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to have the front up and the back down and I finally done it. So let me get into the update. So the hair itself, so I ordered the hair the same time that I got the wig done. I got it like a week before I got the wig done, which was in December. So I've had this hair now for just under four months. So it's coming up to the four month mark. And so far, no issues, none whatsoever. Like shedding is minimal. And it's only usually after maybe I've been out on night out and you know, I've been dancing and I'll just get a little bit of rough and tough at the back, at the nape of my neck. But the hair, like this, this chunk of the hair, never really have issues with it um the luster is still the same it's still bouncy it still moves you know when i was talking about how you know when you get hair and it moves together it's not like that it moves if it's as if it's you know you know it just moves i can't explain it but if you wear hair or you wear wigs or you get weaves you know what i'm talking about um yeah so the hair no problems uh it doesn't look dull and I've washed it and conditioned it quite a few times, obviously, because um, I've had it for four months now. The frontal, the hairline, it's not like, it's not receding or anything. The only issue I'm having is with the little sideburn parts, the hair has come out, but I think that's due to me and down to the way that I have maintained the frontal, like main, high, frontals are high maintenance. When people say that, I'm like, yeah, 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 it's cool, it's cool, I'll just wash it. Nah, you have to take care of it. And that's something that I have learnt. And going forward, when I get new wigs, I will make sure that I maintain them and I make sure that I wash the glue out and that essentially I don't get a build up because I think what's happened is I've, these are the parts that come up the most. This part rarely ever comes up but this part that comes down onto my face is always lifting after a while not like during the day but it might be like at the end of the day or when I wake up in the morning if I wrap my hair and I don't take the wig off these parts lift so obviously I'm continuously reapplying glue and I think when I get the build up there and then I don't wash it straight away it's like it solidifies and when I'm washing it off it's taking the hairs with it so going forward I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure essentially that I try to use as little glue in this area as possible and that I clean it straight away you know what I mean get the glue off you know if i take the wig off take that especially that part just because from my experience i know the hairs go so i know going forward that you know and if you're having the same issue as me the same thing just wash it straight away and also use rubbing alcohol when you're taking the, the wig off so that you you know the glue isn't dry and crusty and you're sort of making it go all gooey so it just lifts off and then you can go straight to washing it you know rather than it letting it dry up and it crisp up and you know get attached to the hair follicles because that's what it's doing you know what i mean and when as well your what well, i use a toothbrush when i'm brushing it the hairs are coming through the lace backwards so obviously that's happening as well so yeah i think any issues i've faced with the frontal and the hair are down to me not down to the quality of the hair i'm very much happy with the quality of the hair um which i was scared about because it's from aliexpress what's well, not from aliexpress but it's an aliexpress vendor who have their own website wait i'm gonna put the links again for the hair that i got in the description box just in case anyone's interested um but yeah the hair's brazilian straight and it takes the curls really well um the same products that i said that i used when i first got the wig i'm still using which is the tresemme keratin smooth um treatment thing <laughs> it's a heat protectant spray and an oil i put the oil in uh when i wash the hair well not when i wash the hair after i've washed it and it's a little bit it's damp to dry in that's when i kind of put it in and i push especially put in the hairline because i don't want the hairline to get crispy and then when i'm straightening it or blow drying it or curling it i use the heat protectant spray um and i love the smell of it as well which is good because i hate that burnt like not burnt but like i hate when you put 
straighteners on hair and it kind of gets that straightened smell because the tresemme smells so nice it literally just smells like that so it smells like freshly shampooed hair um so the unit so the wig itself um which i got done <gasps> dollhouse london salon um i'll put their link to their website and their instagram down below i think they have a twitter as well anyway again i have no issues with the construction going forward my four months later i'm still happy with the unit it's not falling apart like you know the concerns i had were that you know before i got it done was that the hairline wouldn't suit me um i wouldn't know how to like do it after they've done it but those issues aside which i didn't have in the first place the hairline suited me i learned how to glue it on myself after that it was just you know it takes me like 10 minutes to apply um in terms of the wig the issues that i had were that how long is it gonna last you know is it gonna last two you know is it gonna last a month is it gonna last two weeks is it gonna you know duration of how how, how many times i can wear it and i can say that i wear my wig quite frequently like let's say four days out of a week i'll be wearing my wig but then i do go with periods of not wearing it so yeah but i've still had it for four months with wear every single month so you know maybe 20 days out of the month i'm all okay that's a bit much maybe like half of the month i've got the wig on so you know it's still fine the construction is fine the front was not coming apart from the lace cap the tracks none of them are hanging off you know the like problems that you think you would have maybe with a wig being made one that isn't all lace and one that has a lace wig cap or a wig cap and then tracks you would think maybe the tracks would come loose you would get tears in the wig cap the front all might come away from the wig pack cap none of that i've experienced everything is fine with the unit i'm very much happy with it the only thing that i am sad about is the front uh the sideburns because they were sort of the same length as the hair like as you can see it's quite thin but again that's nothing to do with the construction of the oh get a little tangle there that's nothing to do with the construction of the wig um i'm very happy with the wig very very happy i will be getting a new wig so stay tuned for that um, and I think I'm getting that in like June or July. I'm sort of like contemplating what to get because obviously I've got this wig and it's straight. Um, it doesn't make sense to get another straight wig unless I'm doing a coloured one. But then I'm going on holiday in June. So I'm like, do I get a curly wig? So I'm sort of deliberating what I'm going to do in terms of getting another wig. But I know that when I get it, get it done at Dollhouse. Um, and yeah, you know, they def they definitely, in my opinion, deserve all the recognition that they're getting. They were in Glamour Mag the other day, or it was like two weeks ago. Um, you know, all these like sort of bloggers are getting their hair done there and obviously with their following getting attracted. So yeah, Dollhouse is doing bits and I recommend. Like, obviously it's, I mean, having not had a wig done before this experience i can't say whether or not i think the pricing is high or not because i've never got the hair done i've never got a wig done before so i can't say but for what i've got i'm happy with the price and when i did it i think it was 165 and this time around it is now going to be i think 175 so they've only gone up by 10 pounds like it's not that big a deal and you have to remember you get customization of your frontal they tint it they i think they i'm very certain they bleach the knots and then they tint the frontal and they customize the hairline they then obviously construct your wig do the camos for you they install the wig you know and if you want to add styles you can add curls i think you can get bangs cut into it you can do loads of things like if you go on their website you can see what things you can get done and i think it's worth the price you know at the end of the day if you want nice things sometimes it costs a lot because if you take shortcuts you might end up with a shit wig you know what i mean and i'm very happy with this wig and like i said i'll be going back so overall as a review of the whole experience i am very much happy um i've got some fly picks out of this excuse me um yeah like i'm happy man i'm happy i'm really really happy like obviously you can see like kind of where the lace is that's purely because i'm wearing that's the only other issue i've had as well i haven't been able to like it doesn't look bait but most people put like foundation in the lace i find that doesn't work for me personally i don't like it even if i use a powder i just i don't like it um and that's just my personal opinion i think that 
um the way that it is now is fine and i'm happy with that so yeah um i think that is it i'm trying to think what other things you would think about like for wigs i mean i've spoke about the hair hair's fine um the wig is fine that's pretty much it to be fair um yeah so i guess all i can say is i can't wait to get a new one that's what i'm excited about i'm very much excited about getting a new wig because summer is around the corner baby and um yeah that's it really anyway so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i've tried to make it as short as possible i'm very talkative and i talk really quickly so i apologize if anything i say sounds frantic that's just the way that i am and you know i'm trying to get i'm literally going back and forth from the viewfinder to the uh what's it called now um lens that's the one <laughs> sorry yeah i'm going back and forth from the viewfinder to the lens but yeah you know i'm still trying to get used to this whole thing and i haven't done it in like three months so yeah but anyway thanks again for watching if you have any questions do communicate with me in the comment section i like when people comment you know what i mean like my friends comment because obviously you know that you, you have to support your friends um your friends are your best hype man i mean you you should be your own hype man but yeah anyway I mean, it would be nice to, to speak to the people who watch my videos if you like this video then please 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 like it just so if you're not subscribed please 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 subscribe um you know obviously it's not by force if you don't want to subscribe don't but it would be nice i really appreciate it <laughs> but yeah as i said i didn't want to go on so i'm gonna end this video here and until next time who's feeling this makeup though Ooh.